for it machine down. Just probably grind it down to fit it in there and put a T-handle as I have none. None. No T-handle for it. Well, I do have a T-handle. I have a T-handle for this T-handle. I zoomed in or something. I guess so. I'm zoomed. I have this T-handle. Which actually goes for this rare, what I say is rare. I haven't seen anybody's videos with that. Two-jaw chuck. Yeah. The two jaw. I don't see anybody having one of those so far. And this works for the two jaw. That's sweet. No two jaw. Yeah. That's what that goes for. And I haven't used it. I probably could have. I probably could have used it on some of that stuff for the other day. But I haven't. So, I'm going to get back to what I was down here for. So I was machining some washers for the lawnmower, and it was just running, and then all of a sudden it cocked, it, it just popped into neutral, and I don't get it. And uh, this dog was always, this lever here, I don't know, I don't know all the names for all this stuff, but it was down here in that position. And everything was just going along fine. And, uh, you know, just like it was just turning like that. But now it's freewheeling. So I want to say something's going in there. Inside that cover. Yeah, maybe I need to take that apart. I hope something just come loose. You know what I'm saying? Hope nothing broke. Didn't make a banging noise when it did it. I don't think I have a screwdriver here. Let me... Uh, You have to forgive my mess. We're working on it. Being out of the, out of the house, off this property for a while, is uh, been long with working on many projects. I'm still doing the cutting of the compressors. Hauled some of those in. Yep, been taking them apart, pulling off the windings off of the other part stacking them over here you know stacking them over there 